Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video, and today, a bit of a different video, I'm going to be giving you a quick look at the collection of Flyknit sneakers that I own. So, I've mentioned it in a couple other videos, but if you guys aren't um, aware of this, Flyknit and Foamposite slash Hyperposite are my two favorite materials on any shoes, period. Like, um, although I do really appreciate a really good quality leather or a really nice suede, just in terms of Nike shoes, basketball shoes, stuff like that, Flyknit and Hyperposite slash Foamposite are my two favorite materials. Over the past year or so, I've been collecting a lot of shoes that feature Flyknit, so I thought I would give you a quick video showing you all of them. So without further ado, we are going to be starting off with the Nike Free. 3.0 flannet in this black and white colorway. Pretty simple shoe. You just have your black flannet upper, a white swoosh almost painted on, your free 3.0 bottom in white, and a gray midsole. These are a very comfortable shoe whether you're running or just walking around casually, and if you can find them for a good price, I would definitely recommend them. Next up, we got the Kobe 9 Elite Low Moonwalker or Michael Jackson colorway. This is obviously uh, a really beautiful colorway. I don't think anyone could even deny that. This all purple upper, you have sort of darker purples on this side lighter purples on this side with that metallic silver swoosh as well as that Kobe logo on top. The Moonwalker bottom on the bottom, sorry these are a bit dirty at the moment, but just a really nice looking shoe overall and really glad I was able to pick these ones up. Here we got the Nike Free Flyknit Chukka in this salt and pepper or black and white colorway. An amazing shoe. You have this Free 5.0 I believe. Yeah, 5.0 I believe it is. Free outsole. You have your black and white Flyknit upper. A very nice and light flexible Flyknit, you can really compress it. There is real, really no structure to this shoe besides the outsole. Um, it's an incredibly comfortable shoe. You can wear it with a whole bunch of stuff, and this colorway is just amazing. Here we got the free, or not the free, the Flyknit Lunar 2 in the uh, Hyper Punch colorway. Really, really beautiful colorway. It's almost a pink, all this color, the laces, the toe box, the midsole. These are really dirty right now, so I apologize for that, but you do have your white swoosh up here. You have black and charcoal on the back here. Really comfortable with that Lunar outsole as well, and if you can find the Flyknit Lunar 1, 2, or 3 for a good price, I would definitely recommend picking them up. Next, we got these bad boys right here, the Kobe 9 Elite, uh, what are these even called? These are called the Strategies. These are the Kobe 9 Elite Strategies. I almost forgot the nickname there. Lots of people do call these the Sequoia, though, but whatever. They're called whatever you want to call them. I honestly don't care, but I'm going to call them the Strategies. Really nice colorway uh, with the Sequoia and the... I believe that is Hyper Crimson on the toe box here and the tongue and the sock liner. Looking very nice. Kobe 9 Elite is a really cool silhouette, very unique in its own right. Almost looks like a boxing shoe actually and I'm a big fan of the silhouette. Moving on to another Kobe 9 Elite, we got the Kobe 9 Elite Detail colorway. This is one of my favorite Kobe 9 Elites to release. Uh, just the different shades of grey, you got darker greys on this side, lighter greys, you have hints of white, the marble print on the tongue and on the ankle collar right here, as well as that nice hit of red on the back makes a very nice looking shoe. Um, I'm glad I was able to pick these up. They did release last March, March of 2014 for 225. Let me know if you were able to get them and let me know how you feel about the Kobe 9 in general down in the comment section below. Next, we got the Kobe 9 Elite Low Beethoven Best Kobe 9 colorway period and in my opinion best Kobe colorway of any model ever. This is amazing. You have black and white flyknit all throughout the upper. You have the white swoosh on this side, the black swoosh on this side. You have your black carbon fiber shank plates. You have a speckled midsole, this gray outsole, white tongue. You cannot beat this shoe. Really happy I was able to pick this up. I know lots of people were not able to when they released in August of 2014, but for those of you that were able to pick them up, I'm sure you love them just as much as I do. And rounding off the Kobe 9 collection in this video, we have the Nike Kobe 9 Elite Low in the University Red colorway. This is by far the most slept on of the three uh, Kobe 9 Elite Lows, but is still very nice nonetheless. The swoosh does glow in the dark. You do have your black and red flannet with these black laces with green speckles. Um, you also do have green speckles on the midsole, and overall, a very nice look. Pictures do not do these justice. Video does not do these justice. Seriously, take a look at these in person, and I guarantee you, you will be blown away. Here we got the Flyknit Lunar 2 in the Hyper Crimson colorway, same as the Hyper Punch colorway that we just looked at a while ago. Um, actually, pardon me, this is Bright crim bright Crimson, not Hyper Crimson, but nonetheless, very nice colorway. Uh, this is basically the exact same colorway as the LeBron 12 Elite that released this past week, um, or maybe two weeks ago. Same color uh, combinations. You have 
the orange Flywire as well, so basically exactly the same as that LeBron 12 Elite. Very comfortable shoe as well. I haven't actually worn these ones yet, but having worn the other colorway, I do know what they feel like. Nice looking outsole, nice looking midsole, nice looking fly knit upper, nice looking shoe overall. And finishing things off where it all started, my first fly knit sneaker ever. Picked these up last summer, the or last spring, pardon me, in April of 2014 actually. Um, for 60 bucks, a great shoe, the Nike Free Flyknit 5.0 in this rainbow colorway. Haven't worn these in a while, but they are a favorite of mine. Very comfortable. I prefer these to the 3.0s. Just a wider base on the bottom uh, gives you more stability and support, but beautiful shoe. Comfort is awesome. Breathability is awesome. I would definitely recommend picking these up if you can still find them somewhere. But that is going to wrap up my Flyknit sneaker collection, guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Sorry for the lack of videos the past few weeks. I am trying to get back on track with that. But thank you for staying and supporting the channel. As always, I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video. So until then, peace.